In this video, we're going to talk about tables, specifically about our alignment table. We've already created one in this drawing, but just to reiterate, the way we created this alignment table was by going to the Add Tables in the Annotate tab of the ribbon bar and selecting Alignment and then going to Add Segment. If we wanted to create a table just for curves or just for lines or just for spirals, we could do that by selecting these additional options up above um, and, and place them in. And that might be, work well for a large roadway where you want to have all of your lines together and all of your curves together. We've got a relatively short table, so this one's okay. But what I want to go ahead and do is discuss if you did have a really long table and you needed to break it up, how could you do that? So if we need to break up this table, we're going to go ahead and go to Table Properties. And then inside of Table Properties, under Split Table, if you need to break up the table because it's too tall, let's say, for example, in this one, we only wanted it to be three tall maximum. So I would say maximum rows per table three. And then if I needed to, I could extend my maximum tables per stack, but three will be acceptable for this. Then our offset and how we want to do it, if we want to do it across or down, and then our behavior for this table, we're going to leave it as dynamic. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what you'll see happen is that I now have three in this stack, and then I go over and the remainder two, the remaining two, go into a new stack. And so this is a great thing to have if you have a specific window that you need to have all of your tables fit inside, and you can only fit 10 in a stack before you need to move on to the next stack over. And so say you had 30 segments that you had labeled inside of a table, then you'd have three stacks next to each other, and you could do them vertical or horizontal based on the settings that you have for that table information that we went into and, and modified. 